Metachromatic leukodystrophy is a very fast-acting disease that attacks the myelin sheath in the brain and then attacks the nerves. Within 90 days of symptom onset, our daughter Olivia lost the ability to walk. Um, she lost the ability to talk. Um, she can, you know, cry and she can smile and show us happiness and joy and we try to see that every day. My name is Kendra Riley. I live here in Ahwatukee, Arizona with my husband Dave and our three beautiful daughters, Ava, Olivia, and Kira. When we first got Olivia's diagnosis, it felt unreal, like this can't be happening to us. So then when we got Kira's diagnosis, it just doubled that effect. I mean, how do you even deal with that as a parent, imagining two of your three kids will soon be gone? When we first found out Kira's diagnosis, uh, we were thrilled to hear that there was actually an option for non-symptomatic children like her. Uh, unfortunately, because Olivia was symptomatic, she could not have this treatment, but we were really fortunate that Kira was still a newborn and not symptomatic and had a chance at living a normal life. They literally took her as an individual, looked at her DNA and how they could help change it and modify it to make it better so that her body would then function as it should have to begin with. This treatment for gene therapy is only available in Milan, Italy because it wasn't yet FDA approved. Unfortunately, we had to gather the community to help us and raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to move to Italy for six months during the global pandemic. Right to Try protects the right of dying patients to access treatments that could save their lives but aren't yet approved by the federal government. This was needed because under our current system, the Federal Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, requires treatments to go through decades of testing before they can be approved. The Riley family wasn't able to use the original right to try because they were seeking a treatment that was individualized for their daughter. It is unconscionable that an American patient has to travel to another country, to Europe, in order to be able to get access to a treatment that could save their lives. With Right to Try 2.0, American families will be able to get treatments that they desperately need right here in our own country. Since Kira's treatment, we got back to the United States in January of 2021. And since then, she's continued to develop normally. And thankfully, all of the results are coming back normal. Um, now she just turned two and she's doing things that we never got to see Livy do. She's running, she's climbing, she's having full conversations with us. She's enrolled in preschool for the fall. These are really great normal things to everyday parents, but for us, they're huge, huge milestones that we didn't get to see with Livy. So it's really, really heartwarming to see that happen for Kira, and it's all because of this treatment. Right to Try has given hope to families across the country, and it saved countless lives. Now it's time for Right to Try 2.0, which will give hope to a new generation of families, families for whom the original Traditional treatments just won't work. Families who are out of options and need the best, most cutting edge medicines out there. That's why we need Right to Try 2.0.